Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your a weekly singles love reading for Cancer. How are you guys this week? Hope you're well. Single Cancers, let's see what's happening with you. The overall energy surrounding single Cancers in their love life. What do they need to know? What do single Cancers need to know about their love life? You love prospects or connections? For cancer, this one wants to come out. All right, I see emotional fulfillment. Hmm, looks like something is going to make you happy here. Cancer. Yeah, I see hermit mode. Some of them here may be contemplating what makes them happy. It could be yourself. What makes you happy? What fulfills you emotionally? It's an energy of a person here. Ooh, you've got an emperor. This person is an emperor. Oh, this is someone who's trying to figure out what makes them happy, what fulfills them emotionally. This person's contemplating their life path, looking for clues, looking for answers. Yeah, we've got someone here who I feel is a little bit lonely. This is someone I feel, this is definitely someone who has something lacking in their life. So I feel this is, they're contemplating this energy. You know, lonely, there's lack in this person's life. And we have the Three of Cups. Yeah, you may connect with this person. Uh, now we have the Empress. Ooh, this Emperor is looking for an Empress. This is a person who's definitely lacking things in their life. Lonely, I feel. There's also this energy. Look at this. This is beautiful. This is a person here who you may travel in the same social circle. I feel this is someone who they could be checking you out on social media. They might. You may travel in the same social circle. You may have actually even met this person. That page of Pentacles. This is someone who's, you know, kind of pondering, reaching out, communicating with you. They're hoping it's successful. <laughs> yeah, this is a, you know, I got to tell you, this is a person who, you know, they're looking for this Empress energy, somebody uh, stable, grounded, um, very sexy, very sensuous energy, but they want somebody who fits in with their friends and family. I feel there's some things here about this person, what fulfills them, what makes them happy. Uh, I do feel they, they don't have a lot of friends or a lot of um people they socialize with because they're lonely so i feel this is a person who's definitely looking for like a family situation wow and then we have two of swords yeah this is the person's a little unsure a little indecisive this is a person who i feel they're contemplating i feel they've something they've overlooked what they're lacking in their life they're they're lacking an empress okay they're lacking family uh, people they connect with this is likely somebody who works a lot, as most emperor types do. <laughs> yeah, this is someone who, you know, they're trying to figure out what it is they want, what fulfills them, their path in life, you know. This is the path that their life has been on, and I feel this is someone who, uh, you know, is, is missing that energy, that, you know, this could be a family setting. You might have actually met this person. This could be a festival, like, you know, you see a picture of a family having a picnic, you know, it's it's an energy of the simpler things in life is what I feel here. Wow, interesting little read here. Let's have a look at this Ten of Cups. Why is this here? Yeah, this person works a lot, so that's what I was feeling. They work a lot. This is somebody who wants to build, okay? This person has been fulfilled emotionally by working, building up their finances, you see, but they're still lacking. They're not happy. This is someone who's not happy. They're missing things in their life. Yeah, this is someone who's been chasing success, spent a lot of their life chasing financial success. Uh, this is a person who's likely dated a lot of people, hasn't really found anybody uh, to, that fulfills them emotionally, that they see a future with. Wow. Yeah, it's the energy of someone chasing success. But I'm going to tell you, uh, this could be someone who's a bit of a workaholic, but I feel with their energy, they've chased success. They've dated a lot of people, haven't met anyone, you know, that they see uh, going the distance, long-term energy. So they've definitely had a lot of false victories, you know. Yeah, so someone who's used to being chased as well. They've got people chasing them. 
Uh, I feel this is something that's not really fulfilling this person. Uh, there's definitely not fulfilled chasing the money, okay? Because I feel it more than likely they have everything they need. This person's looking for clarity. They're looking for clues here. And they're starting, to, you know, it's an energy of this person starting to see things clearly. They want to start something. So this person who's been chasing money and success is now ready to chase love. Wow. Yeah, see, this is someone who's been holding back, keeping themselves stuck, protecting their money. Now they're lonely. See, they have everything, but they're they're in a stuck position, trying to protect their finances. So they're in protective mode. It's also someone who, you know, like I say, they're used to being chased. They're used to other people starting it. They don't have to really do anything. It's the people who chase them that put in all the work. But they're starting to see some clarity here because they're not happy. I can see their energy. They lack a lot of things in their life. This is someone who could be a worry wart as well. They're a bit of a worrier, always worried about their money. They're very protective of it. They've worked very hard, I feel, to get where they're at. But they are used to being chased. And I feel this is a person who has been, you know, keeping things close to their chest, protecting themselves. They're used to getting what they want. Pretty stubborn, pretty stuck. They're also looking at this person also knows they're quite selfish. They're very aware. Yeah, see, they do want to start something. I feel this person starting, everything's being illuminated on this path, you see. This energy of going within, soul searching, their path in life. Um, you know, and it's also an energy I feel with this person. They're looking for clues as to why they haven't found anyone. They, you know, that they see themselves within the future. Uh, someone who's quite particular, perfecting their craft. They're looking, they're too picky, I feel too. Um, very much protecting their money. I feel that's a very big part. They're kind of stubborn and selfish, refusing to budge, you see. Yeah, but they're stuck, see? This person's stuck now. They're lonely. They're not happy. Why? Because they're afraid to take a risk. They're afraid to take that leap of faith, you see? Yeah, they're afraid to risk everything that they've worked for here. Oh, Cancer. This person's, I'm going to tell you what's so interesting, but because that sun is here, they have to take the risk. They have to start something because we have an empress. The empress doesn't chase, you see. So there's your guidance. Be the empress. If you know who this is, it's possible they've communicated with you, maybe through friends or family or at some kind of an event. Some of you may have already met them. Um, and I feel this risk is going to be an invitation, Okay. Uh, it's going to be an invitation, I feel, to something. They're hoping it's successful. They're likely not going to say a whole lot. They're going to be holding back, keeping some things to themselves here. Yeah, but they know they need to take that risk, that leap of faith. One last look over sh their shoulder here. Oh, yeah, they're they're pondering what to say. They're a little unsure, you can see. But this is a person who's failed to recognize their life, their life path, where it's led them to now. They're lonely. And they're stuck. They're stuck in that in, in that scenario. Uh, somebody who likely is all work, no play. You know, they don't have to chase anyone because people always chase them. But this empress does not chase. There it is. See, you're going to meet this person, a place where people congregate, or there's going to be an invitation here. Now, this is a person who definitely has a sense of pride. They definitely have an ego. They're looking at all that. And they're contemplating. This is a person I feel is kind of, looks like kind of like an awakening, you know, about their path in life. All this hard work. Everything that this person's been through, and here they are with lack. They do worry about money. You know, this is a person who definitely is worried about taking risks with their money. You see, so, uh huh. But it's about going the distance. They definitely have that sense of pride. Uh, I feel this is someone who's, uh, you know, it's an energy of putting themselves out there and being the one to take the risk and start it. See, it's other people who generally take the risk that chase them. They don't have to do much. They just stay in protective mode. Uh, this, this I, I really get a sense they're quite lonely. Um, but I feel this is a person who's uh, going to either invite you to something or they're going to start getting out, okay? And you may connect with this person. A place where people congregate could be shopping, a park, you know, a place where people spend money. It could even be a bank, a grocery store, a corner store. <laughs> it could be anywhere, but it's a safe place. Now, this person's all about finding a partner, somebody... Um, 
like in this Empress energy, someone they can count on and rely on to, to look out for their money as well, see? Because I feel overall it's a... When somebody come, is in stuck mode protecting their money, they have trust issues, obviously. You know, they're afraid to take that leap of faith, you see. But I think this person's ready to push through fear. And I think they're going to either invite you someplace or they're going to take a risk uh, and you're already uh, somewhere else. They may, like I say, be checking you out on social media. Maybe something about you. See, they're pondering here. They're hoping this is successful. But I, you know, I do have to advise a little word of caution with the page. The page doesn't always tell you. This is someone who's, you know, I feel kind of used to being, um, getting what they want. They sort of just drop a little breadcrumb and, you know, then you come chasing after them. So I would have to say, don't chase this person. Make them come towards you, Okay yeah so there they are yeah you see king of pentacles energy this person could be a business owner i feel this person's quite financially well off at least stable uh, very grounded practical sensible so they're trying to be sensible i feel this person's planning to communicate but i i gotta tell you with this two of swords one of you is definitely going to be feeling this indecision Okay, but I think for most of you, what this person is real, they're failing to recognize. Now, it's possible this person may have come towards you. Maybe you never paid any attention to them. It's very possible that you didn't give them the attention they thought they were going to get. So they may be uh, looking at this energy, this indecision, or this energy of failing to see that this isn't good enough. This isn't going to get them the success that they want, you see, uh, communicating in that way. Yes, persons, yeah, see, they're clearing things out, healing, releasing a lot of negative energy. So this is someone who's taking a little bit of a break here. And I feel they're just clearing out all this negativity. It's energy of healing. The thoughts that pin them down, you see, that keep them stuck. They fail to recognize. This person's pinned down by a lot of, th of thoughts, okay? And it, I feel it has to do with uh, protecting their money, protecting themselves. Uh, the fear of loss here, losing everything. If things don't work out, if it is, if you, they start a relationship and it's not successful. Uh, so in other words, it's more than likely they're worried about divorce. And if it isn't a successful union, it doesn't go the distance, you see. So, yeah, this is someone who's taking a little pause. There they are back and forth in their head here, uh, looking at things differently. So it's a, this person's definitely it, going within. Uh, I feel they could be a, a Taurus, a Virgo, Leo, Sagittarius, some Libra energy, and of course Pisces and a little Aries here. Yeah, I, I feel this is someone who's, you know, back and forth in their head trying to make a decision. But I feel while they're uh, looking at their life path, while they're contemplating you know, what makes them happy, what fulfills them emotionally. Well, I'll tell you, the Empress does. Yeah, I don't think you're going to chase this person. I'm saying don't chase them. Let this person come towards you. And why is that? Because they need to go into hermit mode. They need to do this. They need to be clear about what it is they want. And it's about how to have success, a successful relationship. This is somebody who definitely, you know, has a, that sense of pride and ego, uh, but they're protective, you see. Protective of everything they worked for. So uh, I feel this is, you know, definitely a person who's dated a lot of people and hasn't really found anyone till they meet you. Uh, so I feel this is someone who's planning here. They're just taking a break, clearing out negative thoughts. They're looking at things from a different perspective. They're seeing things differently. They're going through a healing. You see, the things that keep them stuck, that uh, keep them pinned down very negative so if they reach out to you and it's not successful you don't pay this person any attention because i don't think you're impressed I, I feel like you're not impressed by somebody who is trying to impress you somehow that ego they also dress for the success so this is a person who you know they may even see you that way okay you can flip that energy but it, it's all about this person being pinned down by their thoughts about how to communicate will it be successful there there this is person while they go through this they're you know that two of swords they're 
realizing here. That's that realization. This is an energy of going within, looking at things from a different perspective, seeing things differently about the way they communicate. So I have a feeling you've already met this person and something didn't go very well. But they want to, I feel this person knows they need to be the one to, to start this. They need to be the one to do it. They need to take the risk. Tell me about the fool. Yeah, see, this person's lonely. They have everything but love. You can see that. See, it's a, 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 about taking a leap of faith in love, taking a risk. This person's stuck. They're lonely. There's that that wand the passion see that passion that creativity there's this person is going through a lot of personal growth and emotional growth you see they're lacking love in their life uh, emotional fulfillment they're not happy tell me about this king of pentacles yeah there's the empress see look at that oh my goodness this person sees you as this you know this empress energy they see you as someone they could partner up with, someone they could rely on. They are, this is, I think, their biggest fears. They can't rely on somebody. Okay. I do feel this is someone who likes to be a good provider. Um, but I feel this is somebody who's also looking for somebody uh, similar to themselves, stable, financially stable. But it's really about this person. I feel it's an energy of uh, whether you have their best interest, you see. The thoughts that pin them down, negative thoughts here. You see, there's person, they're, they're definitely in their head here. Yeah, they have a little bit of fear. See, fear of being hurt. They're looking at this. This is someone who wants love, though. They're seeing this differently. They're seeing something they fail to see. Okay, so I feel like you've likely met this person, run into them someplace. They may have said something to you, but I feel like it lacked clarity. Okay, it wasn't some kind of, it wasn't a clear communication. I feel like you didn't give them any attention. I don't think you focused on this person. Tell me about that six of wands. Yeah, see, this is someone things didn't go in their favor. You see, they definitely, I'm going to tell you the wheel of fortune. This person's worked hard, you know, that wheel of fortune. But you see a cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. This person's ready for something new. Yeah, I, I feel they, they are definitely, when this person thinks about you, I feel they, they have very happy thoughts, and I do feel like you've met them. You may be unaware that you've met this person, because I feel whatever they said to you is, you know, like tossing a breadcrumb, tossing a hint, hoping that you will chase them, you see, hoping that you, they'll get what they want. You'll give them what they want. They're used to getting what they want, you see. But I don't think this has worked for, <laughs> with you. I don't think you were overly impressed um, by this person. But I do think this is someone who's going to try to impress you, okay? Uh, they have this ego. <laughs> but I don't think you're that impressed. Why? Because you're in the Empress energy. You know your worth and you know your value. You have a lot to offer. They see it. Something they likely kind of, I feel what they've really failed to recognize is how they communicated. You see? I feel this person you know, reached, took a risk and said something. They may have flirted, told you you were very attractive or very success, very sexy. I don't think you like that kind of attention. There's something there because the Empress doesn't really like that kind of attention, you know, but all depends how it's delivered. But there it is, this person waiting. See, they're waiting for you, hoping, you see, that you're going to be the one to communicate, but you're not going to. You're looking elsewhere. You're keeping your options open, you see. Yeah, I have a feeling this person is going to go to some place where you've originally met them and kind of um, wait, uh, likely. And it's possible, too. Like I say, they may have just checked you out. Uh, they're trying to find some kind of clarity here. They may have simply just checked you out. But I think this person's a little afraid. I think this person is a lot more sensitive uh, than they will probably let you know, okay, uh, when you do have a conversation yeah, see, they're a little fear you won't reciprocate. So this person's got an ego. They have that fear that you won't be interested in them. You see, I actually feel they did, you didn't give to this person. I feel like because they tossed breadcrumbs, whatever they said to you wasn't very clear. They, it's like dropping a little hint, hey, you know. But I, I don't think this person, you know, and I actually feel like you may even keep this person waiting. Okay, and then the negative thoughts are going to pin them down because I don't think if you do reply, it's not going to be much. You're going to probably communicate about the same way. 
<laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I, I think this person knows too. They need to be more generous, right? They need to say more, but they're afraid. That fear, right? This is an energy of fear that you won't, you won't be interested but they need to share more. They need to tell you. See, this is what they fail to see. That's what this is all about. So they're thinking about this likely when they're laying in bed at night, why you're not reciprocating or why you didn't chase them, why you're not uh, chasing after them like everybody else. Because you're an empress. See, they're back and forth in their uh, head too. See, they're indecisive here a little bit about whether they should try again. And I actually feel that this person's going to try again. You know, they're kind of weighing the pros and the cons. Should I or shouldn't I reach out? And it even could be yourself in that energy. But yeah, they need to make a decision. It's a bit of a struggle and a challenge. <laughs> See, there it is. See, it's an energy where something's kind of off. They're pulling back and they're looking at things different. Ooh, heavy energy. When you've got the two of swords, the four of swords, you know, the two of pentacles, and this temperance, some Sagittarius energy. Yeah, this is definitely someone who's dated a lot of people and played the field. Okay, I'm not seeing a player, but I don't think they've met anyone they felt they could have success with, that they could see in their future. So this is why they're going through all this energy. They're just pulling back and looking at things different. You're different than their usual type. So they need to reach out and communicate different. You see, they need to do things differently. So they're weighing the pros and the cons, whether they should or shouldn't. I feel they're just calming down. It's also an energy of patience because I do see this faster moving energy, this passion. So they may have kind of taken a bit of a risk, maybe kind of hit on you, told you you were really sexy, or they're thinking of doing that. If you don't know who it is, but you're definitely not someone who waits around. You see, they know too. You know, you're not somebody who's going to sit around and wait for this person. In fact, I actually feel like you're going to let this person wait. So they can contemplate and see about the way they communicated if they already have. So interesting energy. Huh? They need to let go of things that no longer serve, you see. You're different than the usual type. You know your worth and you know your value. And I'm going to tell you, they're starting to uh, get this here. So this is quite an interesting read. So the star is that, you know, this person is looking at this. You're everything they could ever hope for, you see. But I feel what's happening with this person is like, they may even feel like you're out of their league. Something is flipping around here with this person. Yeah. So, you know, it has it. it I feel there's some insecurities here. You see, they need to let go. They need to look at things, but they need to do things different. They need to communicate in a different way and let go of the things that don't work. OK, and I, I feel whatever they're, they're just not used to chasing because they're used to being chased. Like in, technically speaking, they're out of practice. You know, but I do see that energy being playful and flirty, being a little more fun loving, you see. So I feel they, they're, they've they either already taken that risk and c commented on how attractive you were uh, and it didn't go very well by the looks of it. So they need to release that energy. But they, I feel it's an energy with this person feels it's too good to be true as well. So they definitely have a little fear of being hurt. Uh, and yeah, see, they're looking at the way they communicated. See, they tossed a breadcrumb, a hint, uh, you know, hoping that you would indulge them more than likely and you would communicate back and they'd get what they wanted. You'd be generous. You'd be the one to kind of really get the ball rolling. So there they are manifesting. So this person's definitely, they're having some realizations with that, you know, taking a little pause. They're having a realization here, you know, um, this person has all the tools. They have everything they need. So it's about manifesting, you see. So there, it's an energy of being determined. It's also being more creative in the way they communicate. So they weren't very creative. In fact, they probably kind of a lacked emotion. They uh, just sort of, I feel like they just said everything wrong. But here you go. They want to date you. They're going to manifest this. So it's about dating and courting. This is someone who just failed to recognize the way they were communicating. Because I feel like you're different than their usual type. Their usual type chases them. The usual type uh, get all dressed up, dress for success, and try to impress the emperor. But you're not trying to impress them. In fact, you're, it looks like you're not impressed by the way they come towards you. So there it is. I, I think this person wants to connect. 
There's the tower, so it's going to happen suddenly. They're all of a sudden going to do something spontaneous here. But that's that tower, that realization that they that this bad person badly wants to connect, okay? Because you're different. They really see you as someone who has a lot of abundance. You have a lot to offer. You respect yourself. I, and I, I do feel that energy with the, the star is having faith. It's also a card of faith. See, they lack the faith in themselves. I actually feel it's just a person who's been in protective mode. They're keeping themselves stuck, keeping themselves single, you know, and they need to release that energy. See, there it is. Slow and steady wins the race. Second pass around. This person is looking at the situation. See, they're apprehensive. This is why they're apprehensive. They're in protective mode. So it's about whether something will be successful. So I feel this person's going to try a little bit harder to communicate a little better. They're obviously not very good at it, but look at that. They're at a crossroads. See, this is about their path in life, the way they're going to approach you. They didn't approach you right. They're used to, approach, you know, people approaching them or being able to kind of say whatever and, and um, the, you know, the people that they've dated just go for it, you see because I feel of their financial status. So there's a lot here to do with ego and status. But they're at a crossroads in their life. This person's lacking. They're lonely. You see, they're lacking love. And that's what they're realizing. They're lacking love, emotional fulfillment. You know, that connection with another person. See, sharing their feelings and emotions. Uh, I actually feel like you're going to drink each other's cup because I feel this person's going to date you. Uh, they're going to, you know, reach out and spend, want to spend some time with you. But with that magician, they're looking for creative ways to communicate, uh, to romance you, possibly wine and dine you. So they're looking at all these things, you see. <laughs> uh, they definitely want this to be successful. There it is. They're going to offer you the cup. See, it has to do with the emotional fulfillment. You see, sharing those feelings, emotions to people. See, I, this person, I'm going to tell you. Um, I, I get this impression that the floodgates are going to open because you do have, this person does have a kind and compassionate side, definitely. Um, you know, the King of Cups wouldn't be there. Um, but what I'm feeling is the floodgates of emotions going to open. They're going to share a lot of their feelings. You may be very shocked at some of the things this person may have to say, but in a positive way. Yeah, and this person's feelings are starting to flow here. It's a do with their path in life. You know, this could be someone who wants children, or maybe they're a single parent, or vice versa. There's something here. Ah, uh, yeah, they're going to show you that, they're going to find ways to show you that they like you first. Okay? Yeah, I, I think this person's, you know, like, I do think they're going to try to reconnect. I actually feel there's going to be some chemistry here. Once this person stops holding back, because it's like they're sitting on the fence about how to ap approach. I feel they already have once for a lot of you. It's about choosing the one. See, this person's quite particular. They've probably been too picky, expecting too much, expecting too much without giving because they're used to the people coming after them. You see, chasing success. There's the energy. So it's an energy of just going with the flow. I feel their emotions are going to start to flow. This person's going through a lot of change. Uh, I feel if you've already had a misconnection with this person, uh, or I feel it's an energy where you might even be waiting, you know, but I think this person's going to go to wherever it is they met you, and they're going to be just kind of waiting for you to show up, okay? Um, but yeah, it's an energy, of, but I can see you not waiting and keeping them waiting too. That's another um, thing that the, the Empress uses, that feminine energy, is to keep them waiting. Don't rush to the your cell phone or rush to greet this person when you see them. Just, okay, just, it's an energy of just kind of playing it cool, just going with the flow. Let this person come towards you. But I feel you're just going to go with the flow and kind of see what happens. See, look at there they are. Just going with the flow. It's time for change. This person knows they need to change the way they approach you, the way they communicate. Uh, they need. I feel they need a lot of changes in their life, and I feel they're ready. Crazy energy. Boy, that was a different one. I just want to have one more look at the sun. 
Yeah, see, full steam ahead. They say it's about success. This person's determined. So they are determined here, you see, but they're trying to control their emotions. That's the emperor energy, trying not to let their emotions rule them. This is likely someone who's lost control before because they allowed their emotions to rule them. They are an emotional person. So this is why something may have happened to this person. They may have been deeply hurt by somebody. You know, so they become protective of themselves, not just their money, but their heart. OK, so but I, I feel they want to approach and I do feel they're at this crossroads. They see you as the one like there's something about you that makes this person want to uh, have success with you, that they're just determined, you know, and that's what you want. That's why you don't chase. You just wait. OK, you can keep your options open, date other people, do whatever you want. They may even be checking to see if you are. OK. If you have a place where you generally go to hang out with friends or family to socialize and this person's checked you out there, likely they're going back there. And if you're not there, they're going to be in that energy of feeling maybe you've moved on. You, you're not going to the same place, but they're going to keep going back. They're going to keep coming around. This person is absolutely not giving up. Not with that Knight of Cups, that... Uh, manifesting energy of the of the magician and the chariot and the wheel of fortune this person knows what they want and they're going for it so there it is incoming so it's going to be quite spontaneous okay they're going to come in and communicate out of the blue beautiful energy the trick is for you to just go about your business date other people do whatever until this person finds that strength the power okay to show you that they're determined okay that they're interested in you uh, for all the right reasons as well so eight of wands spontaneous communication this person you know been there done that they know they need to change you know uh, they also know it's because of this empress energy you may have other options you see so they need to communicate properly that's the magician energy mercury energy communicating properly that's what i feel this person didn't do I feel, you know, they're used to people coming after them. They usually have multiple opportunities, but I feel now this person seeing that you may have other opportunities. <laughs> you see, you've got this person, they're manifesting. You've got this person's attention, okay? Now, they're going to try to figure out how to get your attention, but I feel like you don't like the way they communicate, the kind of attention they gave you, okay? That's what I feel. Flirty, fiery, they took a risk, playful, you know, and a youthful kind of energy, but somehow that didn't work. <laughs> so there it is. They need to put themselves out there. See, it's about putting themselves out there, opening up emotionally. I feel this person's going through some kind of an awakening uh, to do with their path in life and what fulfills and what they need to change. And I feel they want change. I really do. Um, so, yeah, if, you've, if you know who this is, I feel they're going to keep coming towards you. Okay. I'm going to keep going back to that place where they may have connected. They're not going to give up full steam ahead. Once this person see the next time this person sees you, they're going to come in in a more emotional way. They're going to ask you out on a date. They're going to connect in that emotional level. They're going to have a conversation. You see a proper conversation. Now, I think you're going to see eye to eye here, you know, but I do think this person's been hurt. Uh, they have that fear of being hurt or you won't be interested. So and this when when this kind of energy happens it you know this person's interested in something long term okay because they're determined beautiful all right i wish you the very best here cancer it looks interesting and we'll see you soon